Hello everyone, I'm Renown Zero. We are back yet again talking about how Eric just simply puts out a video talking about independent creators, shouting out a bunch of independent creators, you know, the normal stuff that he usually used to always do and still does, by the way. But it's interesting to me how people can just not be happy that he's doing the thing they cried about him not doing, even though he's done it in the past. He's promoted people like Razor Fist, Project Neosis, Greeny, Graham Nolan, Chuck Dixon, and people like that, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But it seems to me that there's always one. There's always got to be the one. The one weirdo individual that always has to have a comment, well, you know, most likely a homoerotic projection, as they usually do. And that person is none other than Tizo Spencer. Because, of course, he seems to always have a comment on literally everything, even though he supports the people he likes by buying off the secondhand market and then buys Ripperverse comics directly from the website right here, which is very interesting to me. Like, why don't you just do the opposite? It's like, you don't want to support Eric. You don't want Eric. You want Eric to fail, but yet you continue to buy the product and keep giving him money. It's like, when you don't want to support a creator, why would you support them directly? That doesn't make any sense, but it's nothing new coming from the, the retard known as Tizo Spencer because he really thinks that wearing glasses makes him intelligent. So there's really nothing there that you could say that'll make him sound intelligent. But let's get on with this really quick. Just, you know, a quick pre-order campaign from the Ripper Zine number two, 5,904 books, 156K. Of course, this is beating out any CG books currently available, including Fearsome and anything from any other indie creator like that but this is the video he put out you know saying independent creators should check out he mentioned people like razor fist von coleman Rini. he mentioned you know project niosis he mentioned graham nolan you know people like that which i'm surprised honestly that people's comeback so far hasn't been something like well he hasn't he didn't promote chuck dixon you know rock and roll ninja and you know that ninja bear book he has or even you know, Mike Barron with Private American, Bronze Star, and even Gooding, which is funny because it's it seems you know Tizo himself says, "Oh, these are just people he you know that praise Eric and all the people that have worked with Eric." Meanwhile, he didn't shout out Chuck Dixon or Mike Barron, but you know he has in the past. He has shouted out Mike Dick, uh, Chuck Dixon and Mike Barron in the past, but it seems to me like these guys really just can't come up with anything that makes any sense. Like, I can literally dish, you know, feed them what they could be saying, and it's like, it doesn't matter anymore because I already told you what you could be saying that could you could somehow think it's an own. And it's very weird that these guys are so adamant with all this nonsense. But, you know, here you have Eric, you know, from saying, The Horseman, welcome to Flores Park is almost here. Chuck and Joe are bringing the pain with The Horseman. Welcome to Flores Park. Be sure to sign up for our newsletter to stay up to date with the latest Riververse news. This is, of course, Chuck Dixon and Joe Bennett here. Unleashing the chains from the horsemen. I'm sure somebody will think it's ist or whatever. But you have normal people like Rini right here who simply say, you know, appreciate and honored by the shout out. Everyone go check out these awesome creators. I agree that the pie isn't fixed. Let's work hard to expand the audience of comics and raise all boats. Hashtag comics, hashtag we will win. You know, obviously Rini has worked on the Isom number two fighting poster for Eric and, you know, things of that nature. You have Vaughn Coleman coming out you know doing a live stream basically saying that he got shouted out you know saying thanks for the shout out dude it means a lot back the book here obviously we'll get into that in just a second but you also have people that are backers like cj here who have books like isom alpha core yara gooding you know acromatic chronicles blue by jay but we coming out with acromatic chronicles green from ripperson you have Volun voluntarist origins by jack lloyd you have Monster Island by Graham Nolan, and you have Common America from Iconic Comics. You got Shadow of the Conqueror from, you know, Shadowversity. You got Dean Kane, you know, um, All American Lawman with Gabe from, you know, Gabe with Dean Kane and Project Naos. And then, of course, you have uh, you have Fiendish from uh, Rini, you know, Earthbound by Norwal, which is also another person he mentioned in the video. For Private American Bronze Star, Florida Man. These are all these are all books from from um mike baron and then you have wraith of god which is i believe aaron lapresti which is also another creator he shouted out in the video of course you have von coleman with phenomenova one from my comic but i also think that john from john's long box deserves a shout out as well because he's doing his own thing and getting this he's gonna obviously get this book out to people 
within the next couple of months. Same thing with Von Coleman. He had an issue with the printer, so he had to delay it to October. It was supposed to come out this month, but that's all good. But for people who are interested in things like Snowman, that is no longer published under all caps comics or all crap comics... You have the Snowman 2 pre-launch is available because he's now doing self-publishing, Mad Martin is anyway, and he's no longer under the thumb of EBS. But you have it right here where this clown goes on to say, does anyone think the people Eric July is shouting out and his independent creators you should check out aren't in any way adjacent to their ball washing and sucking off Eric July in some way? Bro. I'm pretty sure Aaron Lepresti, none of these people are doing that, bro. This is, again, your homoerotic fantasies come to life because you literally have nothing else. You even had a point where you said that Eric July was right. And then, again, you say you say racist things like this, saying, I really, really, really want Eric July to fail so hard. I'm tired of people defending this N-word. Because you can see it here. This is something he screenshot. This is the same individual who called Eric the hardest version of the R-word. It's amazing to me that this individual continues to spurg out about me, spurg out about Eric July, constantly saying he wants it to fail, yet he'll sit there and buy the comics direct from the distributor or the website. It's very interesting to me that that's what you decided to complain about. Not the fact that he's promoting indie creators, because, again, Norwell hasn't done any work for him. Aaron Lepresti hasn't done any work for him. Graham Nolan did work for him, which it's funny because EVS is the one that decided to say that Graham Nolan phoned in the, the Yara cover C and just took the paycheck and basically trashed his work. But yet you failed to mention the fact that, you know, Grant, while, while Eric praises his work on Yara, EVS trashed it. But you don't seem to care ever. It's absolutely crazy to me. But then this isn't, this one isn't, you know, anywhere close to what the other clown said, but... You know, he got mailing saying, you know, Dungeoneer's all up in here, triumphant. You know, it's one of those things where it's just like, why? I mean, I understand you can have you can have your opinion. That's perfectly fine. But it's still crazy to me that this clown right here thinks anyone actually gives a crap about his opinions. He claims everyone else is autistic. He claims I'm autistic because I always shut him down constantly and make him look like a fool pretty much weekly on Twitter because I could care less more than half the time what he has to say about me because everything he says is retarded so i mean he just sits online and spurgs all day bro and that's all you know how to do is spurg i literally say this is coming from the guy who's sick of people defending eric july by calling him the n-word lol the same guy who supports his favorite creator secondhand but buys everything ripperverse directly from the website like i wouldn't be surprised if he quoted me i, I wouldn't be surprised Okay, he didn't. I'm surprised he actually didn't. Not good enough. Why are you losers so desperate for approval? Anyway, random garbage person. For critical thinkers and not gullible sheep, ask yourself why Eric made this video out of the blue. Because he's still a YouTuber? He can make videos out of the blue. Oh, no. YouTubers making videos? Wow. My question is, why, do I, why, is, why are you always pocket watching, bro? Why are you always watching everything that Eric does? If you don't care, if you want him to fail so hard, if you want people to stop defending him, why do you care so much that he's doing anything? <laughs> that's that's what I don't understand. It's like why are you always why are you always suckling off EVS meanwhile you don't even buy stuff directly from the, these people that you like. You buy from eBay after selling other things because you're a broke person. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like, bro, what what are you even what are you even here for? You're just another irrelevant weirdo online, always crying and complaining and moaning about everything, bro. You you sound as you sound as butthurt as EVS, and you don't even have product to show for it. You just have your whining, complaining words online and being absolutely racist, just projecting your racism and your homoerotic fantasies onto other people. It's so weird to me that this is how you spend your time. Supposedly, because you have a you have a part time job, and supposedly you have a wife. It's like, bro, obviously you're not doing nothing with her because you're spending more time crying about everybody else who likes the Ripperverse and complaining about Eric doing anything, just like EVS does. Seriously, you're terminally online. You need to stop. You really need to stop. 
If this is how you're going to spend all your time, bro, get some help. Please get some help. Thank you all for checking out this video. I really do appreciate all the new subscribers, returning subscribers, new viewers, and returning viewers. If you do like this video, hit that like button. Comment below if you feel about all this. Subscribe for more content. Hit the bell for notifications. Set the bell to all. That way you'll get a notification anytime I post a new video or live stream. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.